Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your desktop environment on your Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I'm logged onto the Raspberry Pi here uh, using VNC, and it's the default um, Pi desktop environment that's installed. So, what I'm going to do first is um, I'm going to show you. I, I did this in a previous video, but I'm going to show you now. I've opened up a terminal window make it slightly bigger and if I type sudo raspberry config and go down to advanced options you can switch between Wayland and X11 and for this video uh, you're going to need to be on X11 um, so make sure you've selected that tab across to OK and then press tab until you get to finish and then it's going to ask you to reboot and you're going to want to do that um, I'm not going to do that, I'm already on X11, so I can click no to that. But you need to do that. So the next thing we're going to do is type sudo task cell. And this gives you an option of various different desktop environments that are available. So for this guide, I'm going to install XFCE. So all I have to do is press the space bar, and that puts a little asterisk in the e box. If you press the tab key will highlight OK. You can press return and it will now install the XFC desktop environment. So um, at this point, um, XFC should be installed. So we're going to reboot the Raspberry Pi. You can do that inside um, VNC and it should restart automatically. So if I do sudo reboot now, I'm going to use connection to the VNC server. So you have to wait a minute or two for that to come back. And the annoying thing is, when you get here, there's no way of choosing which desktop environment you want to use. So when I log in, it's gone straight back into the Raspberry Pi desktop. This is definitely not XFCE. So there's, there's multiple ways around this, but I, I find the best way is actually to change the login screen because the default one for the Pi is very limited. So if we open a terminal window again, first I'm going to make the screen a bit bigger again, and what we're going to do is we're going to cd into forward slash etc like dm and type ls. And what we're going to do is sudo nano light dm.conf. And note the name of that file there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to copy that, right click, and copy. And then we're going to press return here so we're in the nano. And if we scroll down, you'll see the greeter session equals pi greeter. So what we want to do is remove that from there, right click and paste, and we're putting in like dm hyphen gtk hyphen greeter. And we can press control O to save, control X to exit the nano session. If we reboot again, again, I'm gonna lose connection to the real VNC whilst it's rebooting, you'll see we've got a different uh, login screen. And the importance of that is um, if you click up here, you'll see that all the different desktop environments that you can log into are up here. So you no longer have to switch around. And the one we want is this one here, XFC session. So if I click there, I can type in my password. And you'll see we have XFCE as a desktop. And the important thing about that also is that if I saw other desktop environments, when I go back out to the login screen,
they will appear in this list here. So you can switch between already uh, LXD, OpenBox, you've got Wayfire, uh, Wayfire on Wayland, and XFC already installed. You've got the Raspberry Pi Desktop on X, etc. So that's um, what we've done today. We've installed a new desktop environment on the Raspberry Pi, and I've shown you how to change the login screen so that you can change your desktop environments. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.